conditioning system for us. What's created an enormous buzz in Washington but has nothing to do with the White House? The answer you're no doubt scratching your head over is commercial drones, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs to those in the know. Now with trade and traffic taking off the ground, the cities played host for the first time to the National Drone Show as people look for more ways to use the flying objects. We go and make custom solutions with DJI products. And so today's product, we have actually have a dual sensor set up, one GoPro and one a FLIR thermal camera. This is going to be great for search and rescue, uh, solar panel inspection, agriculture. And so we have a lot of clients coming in right now. What's been a hobby of some fun-loving camera enthusiasts is fast becoming very big business, with newer models aimed at average consumers as well as professionals. This happens to be our new flagship. This is the Tornado H920. This is going to be our prosumer model. Uh, this is going to fly for over 30 minutes, a payload up to five pounds, um, a range of over a mile if you really need it. Um, but again, that's going to be in regulations. You still got to keep an eye on it. Uh, but it's uh, very simple to uh, just get out of the box, charge the batteries, and deploy. With the global commercial market expected to be worth up to 2 billion euros by 2022, manufacturers are quite optimistic about the future. The industry wants to grow. There's potential here. It's a billion dollar industry. It's going to be even more. It's here to stay. Uh, you know, you've got the Amazons and things that really want to use it, the Googles. Every industrialized country in the world is making investments in drones, and that's driving technological development as well as commercial and industrial applications. In some sectors, such as search and rescue, to reduce risk, drones are increasingly being seen as a viable alternative. Thank you. Thank you very much. Military applications easily dominate the market, but other activities are fast catching up. One sector that will see a boom in the use of drones, according to experts, is law enforcement. I think in the next decade, you'll, you'll definitely see drones uh, being used by law enforcement more. In Fairfax County, we have two helicopters, and they're very expensive to operate. Uh, and, and unmanned drones would allow us to deploy uh, aerial uh, overview very quickly. And um, you know that, that could probably resolve a lot of situations uh, more uh, in a safer manner and in a more timely manner. So, at the drone show in Washington, visitors could buy drones for up to two thousand euros, while more sophisticated models cost between fifteen and thirty thousand euros. However, our U.S. correspondent warns: before you get out your credit card. You should know there's considerable regulation to be aware of before you take off. In the US, there are half a million drones expected to be purchased during this year's holiday season. But fans may not have a long-term fun with their Christmas presents. The US Federal Aviation Administration has just announced that there will be tough regulations to ensure the safety of the airspace soon. Stefan Grober, Euronews, Washington.